Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Emerson and I love helping teachers with all things technology, organization, and productivity. If you can't tell, I think this is the most excited I've ever been for a YouTube video because today I am sharing my top 10 all time classroom organization favorites. Listen, I'm sure this is not surprising, but I've been obsessed with organizations since I was a kid. Yeah, duh. And obviously that transferred over into my classroom. So I feel like I've tried pretty much every organizational system known to man. At least it feels like I have. My wallet definitely tells me that I have, but I have narrowed it down to my top 10 favorites. My ride or dies, the creme de la creme, the best of the best, my tried and trues, these are the products I've been using for years and absolutely love. Just a warning, they are not ranked. It was hard enough just to narrow it down to 10 items. So number one is not necessarily the best and number 10 isn't. They're just 10 fantastic items that I feel like every other teacher needs as well. So let's jump into it. Number one, are Sterlite clip boxes. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I love about these. First of all, they're super sturdy and durable. These containers I got my second year of teaching, so I've used them in my classroom for about six years and they still look honestly pretty much brand new. I also love that they have a lid and the lid gets held on by these side clips so you don't have to worry about it easily popping off. I have dropped them and the lid still stays on. I also love that they come in tons of different sizes. So this is the mini bin. This is the small bin. This is the medium bin. This is the large bin, this one right here. <laughs> and then this one, I'm running out of space. This is the deep bin. So I love that there's a variety of sizes, but they all easily stack on top of each other. So I can stack the large on the deep, I can stack the small on the medium, and they all match each other, but it gives you a variety of different options. Plus, I love that the bin itself is clear, so if I'm storing supplies in here, it's very easy to see what I need more of or what I'm already stocked up on, but you can easily add labels, which these labels are in my TPT store. I will link them for you, and you can customize with different themes, different colors, in order to make the bin match whatever you have going on in your classroom. So the main way I use these clip boxes was storing supplies in my classroom. So. The little mini boxes would hold things like washi tape, googly eyes, extra batteries, any of those small type of items. The small bins were perfect for holding things like decorative pencils. I had rubber bands in them, obviously. I also would hold like popsicle sticks, Sharpies, anything like that. The medium bins were perfect for things like markers and crayon boxes and glue sticks, sticky notes, things like that. I use the large bins for things like cardstock, laminating sleeves, page protectors, and then the deep bins were great for holding like extra folders, extra notebooks or composition books, or as you can tell now, I use it at home to store all my classroom technology. So let's talk about where to find them. You can buy them on Amazon. Personally, I got most of mine from Home Depot, Lowe's, and Big Lots. I know, you weren't expecting that. I will say Walmart and Target do carry them as well, but the handles seem to always change color at Walmart and Target. Like one year they'll have a mint green and the next year they have a gray. So for me, I wanted them all to be the same color, but if you wanted to have different colors, you could try buying them from different places and use that as a color coding system in your classroom. Number two are Sterlite paper drawers. So a couple things I love about these. Obviously it is a set of three drawers, but you can stack them on top of each other or have them side to side in order to add more drawers. I'm using add in a quotation mark because they're not really connected, but they would all be in the same area. They perfectly fit eight and a half by 11 size paper. Personally, I love to use it to kind of hide 
papers, which I always seem to have a ton of. But once again, I could easily customize the label in order to fit the theme of my classroom, add a little pop of color, but you could not see the mess hiding behind it. Personally, I love to use these to hold my weekly copies. So I had a Monday through Friday drawer. So each drawer was a different day of the week. And then I also had a drawer for extra copies that I would hold on to in case students needed them. I also used them to store things that I needed to grade, papers I needed to copy, and also papers I needed to file. But I also sometimes used it to hold supplies. So things my students were always running out of, pencils, dry erase markers, and glue sticks. <laughs> and I would have this on the counter so I had easier access to supplies, whereas the Sterlite clip boxes would hold kind of the extras out of the way in a cabinet. I also had one for paper for my students. So I had like lined paper, white paper, and maybe graph paper. So my students could easily grab it if needed. So you can find these pretty much anywhere that carries Sterlite products. You can get them on Amazon, you can find them at Target, Walmart, and then also Big Lots. Plus, bonus, if you like all of your bins to match each other, which, hi, my name's Michelle and I love everything to match. They also have mini Sterlite drawers, which are nice because they have the same look as the larger ones, but they're great for holding smaller supplies. So for example, nurse passes, Cub Kudo cards, which were an incentive system that my old school used. You also can use it to hold things like binder clips or really any small like office type supply item, but I am gonna show you another organizational system for that. For me, these always held, like I said, nurses passes and then binder clips, which I had color coded by my block classes that I taught. The next item I'm just gonna insert a picture of because there's no way I could show it on camera. These are also Sterlite drawers, but they are larger. When I would stand, they would come up to like, I don't know, my mid thigh area. So they're, I don't know, two, two and a half feet tall. What I love about these is they're nice big drawers to be able to store supplies around your classroom. You can put them on wheels so they're easy to move around if needed. Once again, the drawers are clear, but you can add labels in order to fancy them up. Plus you have a nice flat surface to be able to store additional organizers on top, which I'm gonna share more about later on. I've used these several different ways in my classroom, but the most common way I used it was having a set of drawers at each table group. When I taught second grade, each drawer was designated for a different subject. So all of their math books would be in one drawer and maybe all of their science folders would be in another drawer. When I switched to fourth grade and I was departmentalized, I was teaching different groups of students. So each group had a drawer. So my block one class could put their notebooks and folders in the top drawer. My block two class could put theirs in the second drawer. It made it a lot easier for my students to not have to carry as many supplies around because they could store it in those drawers at their group. But I also kept one by my small group table just to hold all the extra notebooks and books and folders in order to keep it more organized. I also have kept them under my desk for some additional storage. And I've even put them inside of my cabinets to increase storage. I always had this tall cabinet with a section, I guess for coats, but I never kept coats in my classroom. I'd have like one sweatshirt over the back of my chair and that was it. So in order to maximize that space, I would actually stack two sets of drawers to really allow me to put and kind of organize my materials into different sections. Once again, these can be found wherever Sterlite products are sold. This is not sponsored by the way, but Sterlite, hi, I'm here. <laughs> so Amazon, Walmart, Target, Big Lots, places like that. Number four are snack containers. So these are fantastic for storing so many different things. I love that they come in tons of bright colors. Once again, they're super durable and those sides clip onto the lid to help keep it on. And you can find these for either two for a dollar or three for a dollar during back to school. Yes, I know like Dollar Tree is now technically a dollar 25. So I guess two for a dollar 25 or three for a dollar 25 Either way, super cheap and affordable. There are three main ways I love to use these in my classroom. Number one, a deck of cards perfectly fits in here, which my students were always using cards, especially for math games, and the boxes would last like one day before they got ripped. So I would always take out the cards and put them into these containers. Also, a 24 pack of crayons fits perfectly in here. So I love to have a different color container for each group. So I'd have a blue group, a purple group, a green group, and their crayons would go in a snack container that matched that color. So if they were left around the room, it was very easy to return them to the correct group. 
but these are also great for holding individual manipulative sets. So we used fraction tiles a lot and I could fit a set of fraction tiles minus the one whole tile. That one would not fit, but all the other ones would fit inside of here. I've also used it to hold things like dice for my students and counters. And that way, if they're going to play a game, they just grab one of these and they have everything that they need inside. In terms of where to find these, this specific one came from Dollar Tree, but I know other dollar stores carry very similar ones. There also are other brands like Sistema is a very popular brand that you can find at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, but they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. You can find this exact one on Amazon, but it's going to be more expensive than going to a Dollar Tree and buying them. I think you might be able to buy them in bulk on Dollar Tree's website. I feel like certain times of the year I can find them on the website and other times I can't. So you may or may not be able to, but definitely during back to school time, they carry them. And then you also can can find other similar ones. This is technically a crayon box, but this is from Walmart. A little bit more expensive, but if you can't find these, it may be an option for you. Number five, kind of similar, are sandwich containers. These are just like the snack containers, only they are larger. They're designed to hold a sandwich, which by the way, you can repurpose these for your lunch and use them to carry sandwiches. Gruel sandwiches but what i love once again they come in bright colors which you can use to color code or just to add you know little jazz to your classroom it has the same clip mechanism for the lids and once again they're affordable a dollar each or technically a dollar 25 each and they last a really long time so if you used to watch my classroom vlogs you know how obsessed with these i was in fourth grade we used fraction towers all the time and i found that a set of fraction towers fits perfectly inside of here. So I went on a hunt to find enough sandwich containers to hold every set of fraction towers that I had. I was successful and honestly, it's one of the best things I ever did because it kept them super organized and they just were a game changer. So these are perfect once again for holding manipulatives. You also can use them to hold like clear spinners. Hold on. Okay, so this one actually has clear spinners. These are great because you can put them over top of any printed spinner and be able to spin on them. So those fit perfectly in there as well. But I've also used them to create like reading toolkits for my students. So inside I would put like a highlighter and little sticky flags and maybe a small magnifying glass, things that my students were going to use during reading group. And this way I could easily just pass a box to each student and I knew they had everything that they needed. I've also seen teachers create glue sponge boxes out of these. I never jumped on the glue sponge trend, but basically Basically, you take a sponge and then you submerge it inside of liquid glue and then students just press their paper on the sponge in order to get glue and it prevents them from creating a sticky mess. I never did that, but if you teach younger grades, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, this would be perfect for that. Once again, you can find these the same places that you find the snack containers. This specific one came from Dollar Tree, but I mentioned the Sistema brand. This is what those ones look like. I think they're a little bit higher quality, like a little bit of a thicker plastic. They probably are a little bit more durable, but they're also like four or five times as expensive, but these can be found at places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods. You can find them on Amazon, but once again, a little bit more expensive than just going to the dollar store. Number six is book bins. And I have four different ones that I wanna show you, and they're all kind of great for different purposes. Okay, this first bin is from Really Good Stuff, and they come in bright colors. They're super durable plastic. Once again, you can add a label to them. And there's a similar style. These are from Lakeshore. I love that these actually already have a little pocket on the front for a label. And they also have this little overhang piece. I couldn't think of what to call it that allows you to like interlock it with the bin next to it. So they kind of stay together rather than these, you would just have to sit next to each other, but they're very similar, both very, very durable and they're nice and open. So it makes it easy to put things in and take things out. This is another one that I love. It's technically called, I still have the label on it, a magazine storage box. This came from Big Lots. It was $3. I love that it's higher than these. And so for things like picture books, I feel like it holds them more upright. Once again, you can add a label. One thing I do not like about these is this little 
stick piece right here that really serves no no function um but my students love to pop them out and i'd find them all over the floor and eventually lost a bunch of them in fact as you can see i do not have one on the back but <laughs> these bins i've been using for years and they hold up perfectly and then this is more of a traditional like chapter book book bin like what you would see in a library this is from lakeshore it matches the color of these so you can get them to all coordinate together once again you can add your own label but they also have the option for a label on the back but these ones do not interlock together so there's a lot of ways i use these in my classroom these were always used in my library to hold picture books because they have a little bit more depth to them they were higher so they would hold them upright that was fantastic. I also used them as individual student book bins. So I would label them by number, that way I could reuse them with students each year. And as students would pick out books from the library, they would put them in their bin and then be able to return them. It just helped books not get lost in desks or get lost in general. I used that in second grade, but I didn't use it in fourth grade. I've also used the ones like this in order to organize small group supplies. So maybe papers or books that I was going to to use with a reading group, I would have them color coded. So each group was a different color and it allowed me to keep the materials nice and organized. And these are what I use to hold my library books, mostly like my chapter books. And I love, again, they're like super durable. So my students could take them out, look through the books, put them back in, and it just kept them all kind of you know, together in one area in my library. So once again, where to find them? These are from Lakeshore. <laughs> These are from Really Good Stuff. And just to note, these are like just slightly not as long, <laughs> I guess, as the Lakeshore ones, a little bit of a smaller size. These are from Big Lots, but you can also find similar type of bins, especially these book boxes at places like Target and Walmart during back to school season. You also can find similar ones on Amazon. So I will link a bunch of options down in the description box. Number seven, I'm also gonna insert a picture of, they are student supply caddies. I do not have any more of these because I gave them away to teachers when I left my last school. But once again, super durable. I love that they have a handle so they're easy to pick up and move around if needed. And they have dividers inside that allow you to keep different materials organized. Once again, they come in bright colors so you can kind of differentiate between your groups or you can add labels to them and you can throw them in the dishwasher at the end of the year in order to clean them, which is magical. Speaking of magic, you also can use a magic eraser so let's say a crayon mark or a marker mark is on it and you don't want to wait until the end of the year, just take a magic eraser and it will come right off. So I use these once again at each student group. I mentioned that three drawer Sterlite unit that I would have at each group on top would be the supply caddy and that would hold crayons, dry erase markers, dry erase erasers, extra pencils, glue sticks, scissors, all of those materials for each group would be inside of that supply caddy. There's that long section of the caddy. I would actually put little plastic cups on the inside. I typically found those either at the dollar store or at the Target dollar spot. And that would give me even more kind of divided sections in order to keep the materials separate. And I mentioned color coding with those snack containers. So my purple group would have a purple caddy and then the crayons would be inside of a purple snack container. And they would also oftentimes have like all purple scissors in order just to keep it a little bit differentiated. But I've also used those supply caddies in order to easily pass out materials to each group. So if we were doing a craft or maybe a science experiment, and I didn't want students to have access to the materials right away, I would have them in the caddy and then each team captain would go back to the back counter, get the caddy and take it to their group and all the supplies were already organized and ready to go for them. I also kept a caddy at my small group table with the different materials that I would use when I was doing guided reading. So there's a lot of different ways you can use them. In terms of where to get them, Lakeshore has my favorite ones. They were the most durable, but you can find really cheap versions at the dollar store. They're not my favorite because they don't hold up very well. And they oftentimes have like holes in them. So pencils and things slip through them, which is not very functional in my opinion, but you can find similar ones at Michael's and Target and Walmart. Once again, the best time to find them is during that back to school season. And you can find other ones on Amazon as well. 
Number eight, this is something I've shared about before, is my teacher toolbox. <laughs> this was actually in my like teacher favorites video that I did recently. So I've had a teacher toolbox since the summer before my first year of teaching. It's one of those things I saw on Pinterest that actually worked. <laughs> Once I had it in my classroom, I'm like, done like it fit all of my needs perfectly there are obviously these larger drawers and then smaller drawers and it keeps all of those small supply items like staples and paper clips and push pins organized and easy to access you can add labels on the inside of the drawers i just use double-sided sticky tape to stick them on there these labels are in my tpt store so i will link them for you but it allows you to customize the theme add a pop of color and so on. Now, my first toolbox was actually a navy blue color and I spray painted it, but this one came black on Amazon. So you can find some different options or you can always spray paint it. In terms of what I use this for, obviously I had this one on my desk with all of those little supply items, but they also make ones that have all the larger drawers. And I had one of those by my small group table. Each drawer had a different math manipulative. So that way, if I was modeling something with students, I could easily get just like a single little, you know, sample of the manipulative from that drawer. The rest of them were stored in a cabinet, but it allowed me easy access to the manipulatives that I needed. In terms of where to find it, Amazon, like I said, easiest place, but you can find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, really any hardware store is going to carry an organizer like this, which is made for all of the various screws and nails and things like that. Number nine is a clipboard organizer, which is not very versatile, okay? It's made to hold clipboards and that's about it. But I always loved having clipboards in my room because I wanted my students to be able to work wherever they wanted and have that flat hard surface to write on but I found that storing clipboards was a nightmare. First of all, if you are still using the chunky clipboards that have the big clip, just get rid of them, okay? Use the ones that have a nice flat clip because they're going to be a lot easier to store. But what I love about this clipboard organizer is that it's made to hold 12 clipboards, but if you use these really thin ones, you can actually fit two or even three in each section. So you could store enough for your entire class in one organizer. This one is actually made out of wood. So the base pieces are wood and then this part is metal. I did spray paint it. It came originally, this was just like a wood color and the metal was a blue color. I spray painted it black about seven years ago and there's a couple pieces that you know have kind of chipped off but other than that it's held up perfectly so this one actually came from really good stuff but you can find them on amazon as well i also have seen ones on oriental trading and there are ones that actually come with a set of clipboards already in them so they're kind of pricey it is an investment but it's one of those things i got really early on in my teaching career and I used forever because clipboards are something you can use with any grade level and it just makes storing them so much more compact. So if you don't have a lot of space in your classroom, it's worth the investment. And finally, item number 10 are my rainbow drawers. <laughs> you have seen these in my classroom for years and they are now in my home office right over there holding supplies. So what I love about these is first of all, they're very aesthetically pleasing, right? They're beautiful to look at because they have these rainbow colors. You can still add labels onto the front, but they hold so much. The drawers are nice and large, so you can fit items that are bigger than just a standard eight and a half piece of paper. I originally had sets of rainbow drawers with the metal track on the side. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I could not stand them because the drawers were always coming off of the track and it was very frustrating. These ones never come off the track. It's a much sturdier drawer. Were they more expensive? Absolutely. I personally got them on a sale, but they are an investment and that's why I kind of save them for later on in my list. They do, however, make your life a lot easier if you are lacking storage in your classroom. I personally use them to store all of my unit materials. So each drawer would coordinate with a different math unit. So I had all of my unit one materials, things for games, different templates I would give my students. But I also have used them for different center materials for my students. So throughout the month, I would change out the different center opportunities that they had, and they could just go to a drawer and get all the materials they needed there. But now that I 
I'm not in the classroom, I have them in my office and I use them to store things that I use for videos and print out the pr What was that? And print out. Well, we can do better than that. And print outs of products. It took me three tries to get that uh, right but I love how versatile the drawers are. Once again, they're beautiful to look at, super sturdy. I got mine at Michael's, but I know you can find similar ones at places like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I haven't been able to find them on Amazon, but I will keep trying. So that is it. Those are my top 10 all time classroom organization favorites. I will link as many of these items as I can down in the description box. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.